running. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. It's Big Al and Little Al with another episode of the Rocket Review. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Top of our news this week is the recent Beta Club inductions. The National Junior Beta Club is an academic and service organization who believes in leading through service. To be invited to join the Junior Beta Club, 7th and 8th grade students must have achieved the honor roll for two consecutive quarters and maintain their honor roll during their membership. They must also uphold the club's standards of character and commitment to the school and community. This year's club welcomed 13 new members to the roster. The club sponsor, Ms. Cry, says they have lots of projects planned for this year. They completed one service project already when they helped set up for the Marion County Relay for Life. We will be looking forward to seeing what other projects we can accomplish this year. I cannot wait. But on the other news, we recently held our Accelerated Reader Award ceremony for the first quarter. Students who met their personal goal even got an award. It was amazing to see how many students actually met the goal. We have some incredible readers here at Somerville. Altogether, we earned 2,074 points just oh, for the first quarter. Smokes. Yeah. Pictured here are the top readers for the first quarter. Leading the second grade was Yurette Diaz Hernandez and Bryce Telford. In third grade, leaders were Max Smolak, Kayla Williams, and Kinley Handigan, Zane Wesselman, Isaac Holzapple, Isaac Knapp, Wessel Krause, and Zach Wolf topped the fourth grade readers. And the top earners in the junior high were Jolie Jackson, Taya Galler, Ali Patrick, Jonathan Wilson, Porter Lewis, and Zane Dotson. Last Monday, the Lady Rockets and the 4th grade Pee Wee participated in the pink out game against Ayuka. Both Rocket teams won with a score of 28-17 for Pee Wees and 41-19 for the Lady Rockets. Besides the ball game, fans enjoyed. Speaking of the Pee Wees, they will be playing this weekend in the Pee Wee Tournament, November 4th and 5th. Some of those 3rd grade team will be playing St. Mary's Carlisle on Friday night at 5 p.m. The fourth grade team will be playing at 6 o'clock against Raccoon. Good luck, Pee Wees. The Lady Rockets will be playing in the OBC Tournament November 7th, 8th, and 10th. This year's host for the OBC Tournament is Central City. We will have updates coming soon. We can't leave the boys out. After their game on Monday night, unfortunately they lost against Willow Grove. The boys' record is now at 3-3 three three for varsity and 2-2 two to two for JV. They spent much of the week competing in the St. Mary's Tournament. You can catch the Rockets in action next on Monday at Ayuka. Now, on to Athlete of the Week. Athlete of the Week, week for Lady Rockets is Allie Hustedi. Allie averaged 20 points per game. Allie also received the All-Tournament team in the Central City Tournament and Player of the Game at the Rome Shootout. Hannah Duncan is our Athlete of the Week for the Cheer Squad. Hannah has been a great leader to the younger cheerleaders, and she's taking charge whenever she is needed to at practice and at games. Our Rockets have Eli Collier as their athlete. Eli made his first shot Monday night at Willow Grove. Eli has been working very hard in practice, and that hard work has definitely paid off. Congrats to every athlete who's been working hard. All, that pay, all of that will pay off, ask Eli, Hannah, and Allie. Make sure you athletes, well, anyone, drink lots of water and have a wonderful weekend. I'm Emma for Rocket Sports. Back to you, Allie and Allie. Thanks, Emma. Don't forget, next week is short week. We are off Tuesday for Election Day and again, one Friday for Veterans Day. To all our veterans, we want to say thank you for your service you. and sacrifice. <laughs> Speaking of things to remember, don't forget to set your clocks back an hour on Sunday. <sighs> Since many people are asking for it, where the devil is. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>